Oh boy. Guys, this coronavirus has been really out of control. I know, I mean, obviously it has been for the past week. We're supposed to be going out today, and um, I'm not sure how it's gonna be when we go out. I'm not sure how it's gonna be when we get out on the main roads. It's gonna be very, very eerie sighting to see. Like, I would, I would probably assume there would be no cars at all. Maybe not no cars, but like maybe like at least a few cars on the streets here and there. That's literally what I'm thinking right now. Um, now, this coronavirus has been really, it's been interrupting American daily life here in the United States and as well as um, interrupting uh, daily life routine across the world and this has just been one of the most scariest um, things going on right now and this is like my first time actually experiencing something like outrageous, you know, like the coronavirus spreading everywhere. You know, think of this, it just, it came from China, the coronavirus came from China and now it came to here in the United States. Unfortunately, there's one case here in Springfield, but that person is quarantined. Let me tell you a few, de a few details about that right now, actually. That person recently came back from Europe, specifically Austria, when they were on the plane. This person was in their 20s. I think it's a female, I believe. According to one of our local news here in Springfield, they actually got sick on the plane, and when they arrived here in Springfield, that person went to a Cox clinic up in, in the north side of town, and that person was tested and they were tested positive and um so yeah that person was sent home and they are currently in quarantine right now i think they are still i believe one there's currently one case so far in springfield and uh everyone here in Springfield has to take extra extra precautions you know take the extra precautions you know just take the extra precautions you know um you know it's always good to be very healthy very clean like for myself i have to clean my hands five times a day at least especially after i eat like I have to clean my hands more than I usually do. <laughs> but I know a lot of people don't do that on a regular basis. For this time being, until the coronavirus has diminished, you have to wash your hands at least at least five times a day. Right now we're currently stocked up with a lot of Lysol sprays and uh, we, have, we actually have a lot of uh, disinfecting wipes as well and a lot of hand sanitizers and as well as toilet paper. Now my mom told me that when she went to Walmart, all the toilet papers were gone at Walmart. Literally no no other uh, toilet papers was left at Walmart. I don't know. I, I was really confused at first on why. I don't know, but apparently I think what, I, what I've been told is that those, those products are usually non-perishable and they're cheap. So my mom had to go to Target and uh, of course their toilet paper is a little bit more expensive than they usually are at Walmart. Uh, so she bought a lot of them. Um, is the money really worth it? Mm, I don't know. I'm not really sure actually. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here for now. We're gonna go to go to Panda Express right now. Yeah, I would. I don't know what to expect honestly. What I'm gonna see out on the roadways right now. It's gonna be a very eerie and quiet. I would assume this usually does not happen very very often where everyone is currently in lockdown. Italy is in lockdown, obviously. Guys, just just stay healthy. Stay clean and uh, avoid people in especially crowded areas. I guess I'll see you guys um, at Pan Express. I actually looked up our cameras here in Springfield, Missouri, and I was able to get, uh, I believe, I was able to get, the, uh, no, I was able to get this camera right here, the camera that I'm currently hover hovering over right now. And this is the only camera that is only working. And the highway is a little, it's, wow, it's actually a lot empty now than usual. And as you can see on the regular um, streets. I know this kind of is... I know this kind of... I know this kind of... I know this kind of... Is, is a not really good camera view, but it has a really good camera view of the highway. So I would think there is probably not going to be a whole lot of people on the streets as you guys are seeing right now on this camera that I'm currently pulled up here. I guess at least I get a good glimpse and an idea of how the roads are gonna be like. So, yeah. So as we all know, the NBA uh, and other sporting events is canceled, uh, obviously due to the coronavirus. Uh, I actually looked this up just a moment ago. According to one of our local news stations, I think most of the business here will remain open. Um, but however, I think they will limit the amount of people in one building just for safety reasons and health re reasons. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people at 
Pan Express. We're just gonna eat there actually. That's all we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna eat there and um, we might go to one uh, place. I'm not sure where we're going after. We're going to go somewhere and we're gonna get some vitamin C. Um, I hope it's not out. According to my dad, he said that um, no one doesn't really think about vitamin C. According to my dad though, so I mean, that's just logic, I guess, but um, I'm not going to go into detail on that, but um, I think everything might just feel the same. I think as well as um, the majority of businesses will still remain open, except for like other businesses. I'm not sure what it would be, but but yeah, it will just continue how our daily lives are here in Springfield. Um, as you can see, if we put on the radio, yeah, the radio is still going on. Like, perfect like normal this is a uh, uh, radio station 96.5 that's our our normal radio station there's my data obviously now we're taking extra precautions going in elsewhere uh, especially because like you know we're trying to avoid uh, crowded places it's gonna be a different um, scenery going on um, it's gonna be a long journey for all of us especially for those who are infected you know, that's going to be a very long journey ahead of us. I think according to the CDC or something like that, or some other source, um, they're claiming that uh, the, the coronavirus is showing no signs of letting up at, at this time. This really has just evolved so much. Like, this disease has really evolved so much from China. And now there's one in here in Springfield, like I just mentioned earlier. All right, so there's actually four now. Is there... Is there is there two now? Springfield is doing same thing. According to my dad, he said that there is now two in Springfield and now so there's two in St. Louis and two here in Springfield that's that's even more um, raising up more concerns now here in Springfield and um, and for us of course this brings up to the total of four cases here in Missouri it is going to be a very long journey ahead of us now the school I go to I'm not sure I don't they haven't made any decision on whether or not they're going to extend spring break by one week if so then that's a good for me in generally but it's kind of a sign that the coronavirus is really really taking a beating onto us or is trying to get into a beating onto us um so uh yeah my the camera's about to die so i'm gonna stop recording as you can see there's still quite a bit of people um uh, on the streets and uh Still, Pete, there's a lot, there's quite a few of people at IHOP. But of course, we still have to take extra, extra precautions, especially going to highly crowded places, like a re like restaurants or other places. So, um, IHOP is one of them. Uh, we'll, we'll, you'll get a be better view. Yeah, there's IHOP. There's still, well, well, I would say there's quite a bit of people there, but I would, that's probably one place I might avoid going to at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see on the streets, it just looks, uh, it just looks normal here. It just looks normal. It just looks like a normal uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, almost four o'clock, actually. Um, um, all right, change of mind, we're gonna, instead of eating at, um, uh, Panda Express, we're gonna go eat, uh, at an Italian restaurant, um, just over there, like, yeah, somewhere over there. And uh, my dad is afraid that uh, he believes that, um, that he never knows that they came from like China or somewhere um, that has coronavirus. So, yeah, we're gonna eat here instead. So, um, I should have an A here in, in quite a while. So, um, and it's not crowded inside, so uh, I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and eat. All right, the food just got here. Look at this, this is pretty nice. This is really good. We both got the same, exact. Uh, Caesar salad and um, fettuccine alfredo. The chicken and parmesan. This looks really good. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of people here eating. There's not much I can talk about at the moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start eating. All right, so we're out of uh, Fazoli's, the Italian place that we're in. Oh yeah, so what I said about earlier about the second case here in Springfield. Luckily, this case was uh, uh, had to do with travel-related cases here. So far, there has no been uh, spread of the virus here in, in Missouri in general. While there's been only travel-related cases so far, while and no um, community uh, spread uh, going around. While that's good, just be clean and healthy. Avoid as many people as you can. 
People need to avoid you because you cough so much. No, I don't. You need to talk louder. No, I don't. You're right. We're going to... Where are we going? We're going to what? Where? Car wash? Maybe. Where are we going? The car wash? Maybe. Maybe? So, yeah, we're definitely going to the car wash. So, um... Well, look at the mall. It's, like, so quiet. Like, there's actually almost no... Yeah, well, over at Dillard's for some reason. As you can see, elsewhere, there's still quite a bit of park cars, but... It's a, it's a little bit more emptier than usual, um, as you can see, the mall. On our way back from the car wash, it is so quiet. Now that we're actually going this way, it's so, it's so empty. We're going to the mall, and uh, sorry if I sound a little weird because I have Invisalign. I have, I'm wearing my Invisalign right now, you can't tell. I'm supposed to have this for, I was supposed to wear this for a whole year. Or something maybe through, I don't know actually I don't remember what the dentist said <laughs> but I know for a fact it's over a year that I have to wear this a whole year as much as possible also going to the mall um, because my dad wants to like, buy a shirt that's like 50% off right now is that Hell right? yeah <laughs> <laughs> what uh what brand is it what brand is it American Eagle, American Eagle. he wants to buy an American Eagle shirt that that's literally 50% off right now at uh, American oh, yeah, Eagle probably. Everything is okay here. Um, like I said, there's like two cases of 40 in Springfield, and they're both uh, travel related cases. And, uh, and they're elsewhere um, in Missouri, there's also travel related cases. So, um, fortunately, it is, um, it, there's no community spread at all, which is very good. Very good to hear, but hopefully, we can maintain that if we can. If we can maintain uh, that, um, we'll have a, we'll reduce the amount of, um, Coronavirus is coming here to Springfield. Um, that's unless if people are coming home from 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 Europe, are coming home to Springfield and coming home from Europe or any other country that has uh, the coronavirus more um, more effective there. Now this Invisalign is killing me right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're at the mall as you see, so we're gonna go ahead and just walk inside and just kind of you know just do something, I guess. I think we're out of here now. I we walk you around here for at least an hour, maybe ish. Um, so quiet right now than a normal Sunday afternoon mall. This is so quiet for this to be going on right now. Not sure where we're going. But yeah. Alright now so we're out of the mall now as you can see so um, very quiet. Um, but there's still some people in there walking around. That was just far less people in the mall than on a Sunday afternoon. As you can see. Um but yeah, so now we're just gonna get a smoothie and then uh, we're just gonna head home. Um, people are avoiding going elsewhere for the rest of spring break. Um like I said our school has not um has not decided whether now we're going to uh, extend if they're going to extend spring break for all of for us. Um, I mean, if it's another spring break, then more videos for you guys. But um, um, yeah. At this place called Tropical Smoothie, and um, I got the health nut uh, smoothie. It has it has um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's strawberries, bananas, almonds, and mango. So that's one I, I'm getting. I also get us a torso protein. Um, I got the soy protein. Oh yeah, I had it before. It tastes really good actually. The protein. I'm not gonna lie. That's so good. The hazel, uh, the health nut. It's really the best one smooth they, that they have. It's so good. Yeah, like I said, I get the I get the soy protein in here. It's really good. It tastes so good. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the end of this video or the vlog. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe. Because I'm not ready. And uh, yeah, I'll continue making more of these videos um, as the time goes on with the coronavirus. But uh, you know, before I sign off, if you're infected, just stay home. I mean, if you're sick and you believe you have COVID-19 or coronavirus the coronavirus. Just stay home. Don't spread your, your virus in your community.
because you're putting people at risk for the COVID-19. Um, so just self-quarantine yourself if you can. Um, even and if you're being instructed to be quarantined at your home, then you must follow those, those instructions very carefully and very well, of course. If you're not infected with, with, with the coronavirus yet, you know, just be, just be cautious around people, you know, you don't want to be close to people a, whole, a lot. And so, um, just take those extra precautions and, uh, um, like I said, clean your hands, stay healthy, be clean. Um, those things you want to, you want to keep in mind all the time while the coronavirus is around. All right. So that's going to be it for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right. Peace. Peace out. Ha ha ha!